So uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I want you to uh, take a look at this slide and uh, imagine to yourself what would it take, what should happen in your life for you to be as sad as the picture that you're seeing. And now imagine, could it be even worse? So let me tell you, if you invest all your hopes in an antidepressant and it tells you it's going to be way, way worse because all hope is lost. So why antidepressants don't work for everybody? There are treat diagnostic problems and treatment. For diagnosis, unfortunately, we don't have a test like a blood test or a gene test to diagnose depression. To make it even harder, people have depression for different reasons and they need different treatments. So all the people with their different kinds of depression, they go on a single type of drug. 60% of them fail. And instead of continuing to go and look for a match for the treatment, like it would be the scenario in the upper half of this slide, they would get disappointed. They think they are untreatable and they, start, they stop the medication uh, after all. Uh, what about treatment though? Uh, fortunately for treatment, our current drugs are far from ideal right now. But it's interesting, we have an interesting therapeutic approach called augmentation therapy. That is also the topic of my uh, PhD research in neuroscience. The idea is that if you don't respond to an antidepressant, you might respond when a small dose of another drug, like an antipsychotic, is added to your medication. So we have shown in our laboratory how this mechanism works in different parts of the brain that are involved in depression. Our research is funded by the Canadian Biomarker Integration Network for Depression, or CANBINE. One of the ultimate goals of CANBINE, other than finding a good treatment for depression, is, finding, uh, is tackling the diagnostic problems. It's finding a good test for depression so it can diagnose different people with their different kind of depression and match them with their exact needed drug in the first try so they don't get disappointed, they have the first drug that they need in the first time, and they don't have to go through drug after drug after drug after drug, and they would be happy with the first drug that we get. Unfortunately, we wouldn't have the scenario of the lower one or the bottom. We would have a patient, a drug, and that's it. And uh, it's, it's, it's becoming in the near future. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>